Hello everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. I've been trying to record this video, like the audio, over and over. And honestly, I'm just going to go with this sound, this audio. If you came across this video, maybe it's for a reason. Continue watching, okay? And I've been wanting to film something like this, but I'm just very messy when I do my nails. But I try to keep the mess away from the camera. This is what I'm going to be showing you how to do or like just letting you watch me do it. A French tip with an ombre glitter at the tip. And let me just mention, these are my favorite nail tips. The info is going to be in the description down below if you want to get them. My nail beds are shiny because I use a peel off base to make sure my nails are going to come off after this. I'm just doing it for the purpose of the video. I wanted to show off the glitter. I thought it was very beautiful. But yeah, let me let you watch it and I'll be back when I'm doing the Frenchies. <laughs> Okay, okay, almost there. If you're still watching, thank you for being here. So pretty much when I do my French tips, I start by placing a bead where the natural nail and the tip meet. You saw the way I positioned my brush. I feel like that's what works best for me. And pretty much just let it dry for about three seconds so it's not too runny. And if it becomes dry a little bit, just wet your brush again and, you know, keep molding it to your shape that you prefer some people like it more round it's just everyone's personal preference whatever you like that's what you're gonna do okay and when i started teaching myself how to do frenchies i would do it as if i was sculpting almond nails and that's honestly the best way i can describe it it's not that hard after that you just have to fill in the cuticle area like you would you know on a normal set but keep in mind you have to continuously wipe the sides so you don't lose that shape i do recommend that you file them after you're done personally i will not just go straight in with the color it does a step that i cannot skip it's a personal opinion i know some people don't shape it but me i feel like i it makes up a, a big here difference. i'm doing so it again and i'm gonna do it for every single finger i will say pretty much watch learn and practice because my main problem at the beginning was my beads were too wet so the product was going everywhere and when i figured that out my beads were too dry and when it becomes dry it's hard to move so i feel like work in small sections if you feel like you cannot control a bigger bead but i think frenchies are pretty easy and story time of how i became obsessed with frenchies but first let me show you this here the bead was too small but still you can make it work i feel like a thin layer it's better than a thicker bead that you're not going to be able to control so this one is very thin you do have to build it up a little more but as you can see less messy less product to move around if you feel like your acrylic dries faster and you just pretty much have to build it up from there so the story time is that when i started doing nails it was two things that i i had a really hard time doing which was ombre nails the ombre design and using gel polish funny right 
it was both because i've always had a heavy hand like very heavy so the main problem with ombre i would drag my product too much in a way that it didn't look blended if you get what i'm saying and gel polish my application was too thick and at the same time with my heavy hand it was blotchy so you can only imagine my dilemma right i had to figure something out i would feel so overwhelmed thinking that what were, what was i gonna do if somebody asked me to do a number set and the answer is i would i would honestly say no no i don't do ombre and isn't that insane for somebody that does nails to tell you no you know what no no because i don't do ombre nails like what so i practiced frenchies and it wasn't that bad so i was like okay this is the one thing i need to perfect master because if people see this on my page this is all they're want they're going to want to come get you know and that's exactly what i did i perfected my frenchies and nowadays i'm pretty happy nowadays i can obviously do ombre i can obviously do frenchies with a i mean with gel polish but when you're a beginner you just freak out pretty much and that's what happened to me i freaked out i didn't do ombre nails for like years but yeah that's my story here i'm using clear acrylic on top of the cover color just because i don't know i feel like if you want to build it up why not use clear the cover color is pretty pigmented so i don't need to keep building up that color so just keeping that in mind for some people it's easier to use clear acrylic than color acrylic and here i'm gonna be doing one more time you can see that the bead was very small but it was a little runny so just don't stress too much let it dry for like three seconds let it sit there and then you continue to mold it always using the side of your brush the belly of your brush and even the tip of your brush some people don't recommend to use the tip because acrylic can get caught between the hairs the bristles so you do you whatever works for you this is what works for me if my brush get gets damaged you know that comes with the job so it's okay you live and learn right am i right okay guys if you're if you're still here watching thank you thank you so much this is the step that i cannot skip i think it makes a huge difference for some people this is just an extra step that you have no time for but tell me in the comments is this something you do or do you just go straight in with the color tell me because i need to know i've seen people just go straight in with the color and it and it gives me like anxiety as if you know it's not gonna look nice after but it does look nice so i just feel like it's in my head i just don't think my shape or like my application is a hundred a thousand percent where i can just apply the color i think I, I i need to take this extra step i hope you guys are enjoying this video i for sure enjoyed made making it um this is something that i've been wanting to do for the longest time it just takes so much time and like i said i'm very messy and i forget that i'm recording and i think in this video at some point my phone was so hot it got so hot and it kept saying that my storage was full that i couldn't keep recording so at some point you're gonna see that i completely skipped some steps but the main important thing i wanted to show you was the frenchies everything else is pretty easy and for this step i'm using a 180 grit file that i get at my local nail shop and this is what you're looking for that thickness you know all around evenly that way when you apply your product you're not gonna have to file or debulk the nail that much it's not gonna be lumpy or anything this is the glitter that i'm gonna be using i had to swatch them all because i wasn't sure what i wanted to do but as soon as i watched i swatched that first one i was like that is my color but look at how pretty those are can you see like the iridescent shimmer in the back they're just mwah, beautiful i love it for this step it's not too hard you just have to apply a little bit of glitter because since it has a lot of shimmer and a little bit goes a long way 
if you put too much you're gonna cover the entire tip of the nail so i think work with smaller beads and then barely drag it down so you can have that you know clear effect at the tip and i wouldn't recommend doing this on a sh super short nail i i feel like i wouldn't be able to you need some type of space to give it that clear effect little bit goes a long way so you don't even have to waste a lot of glitter and always be careful not to put too much because if you bring it down too much you defeat the purpose the the point is having a clear tip that's what it makes it look you know it's just nicer it's just nicer you can see it for yourself and look at how beautiful this glitter is my eyes could not believe it and the video doesn't even does it justice it looks more beautiful in person here i'm encapsulating the nail and the one thing i would i used to struggle with it was the air bubbles my acrylic usually my clear acrylic was usually cloudy very cloudy and just one tip i can give you don't mess with your monomer too much when you're working on a clear nail and the more you move your monomer you know dip your brush in more than you need to you're creating air bubbles and those air bubbles get transferred onto the acrylic bead and eventually that's why you're putting onto the nail if the monomer starts to look cloudy a little bit most likely your nail is gonna end up looking cloudy so just throw that out and clean up your dappen dish a little bit and throw in some new monomer and you see how it makes a huge difference and i always make sure i'm tapping the sides you know the tip of the nail just so i can keep my nail shaped without you know me having to file it too much in the end just get in the habit of keeping control of your sides and that way you can save a lot of time when filing the nail i almost sound like i'm giving you a lesson but i'm not okay i'm just showing you how i do it and also make sure you're checking your nail from the side just so it doesn't become more lumpy than it needs to be.
if you're still watching you're a real one even if it's like two people i do not care whoever watches it i hope this helps you in any way if there's any type of videos you like to see from me i would love to do it for you and show you how i do it look at how beautiful is that and this is the part where i was only able to file a little bit of my nails and then my phone started acting strange it got super hot and then it said that my memory was full that i needed to delete apps or videos or photos so you're only gonna get to see a little bit of it and thank god because my hand looks a little crazy but look at the shape um i always take my time with the shaping i'm not shy to go back and do that nail that i did one last time and again and again just to make sure it's gonna be sharp and just how i like it this is where i skipped all the way to the end the nails are done can you believe that i missed like a whole good process i wanted to show you the gloss and everything but anyways you can have it all in life this is the end of the video hope you guys liked it and watched it to the end let me know what you guys think bye